Welcome back to Brent's Hang, I'm Brent Barnett. This is our hardware makeover of the month episode. We're on number nine. Yes, I'm stoked we made it to number nine. This is awesome. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar, this is the episode where you guys submit videos and pictures of your setup to us um, at brentshang.gibraltar at gmail.com. And I choose one every month to remake in my own way using Gibraltar hardware. But I keep all of your stuff the exact same. Now, let's see who this drummer of the month is. Pelican case. Wow, what do you have in here? It's just a piece of paper with a name on it. I noticed you were wearing gloves. Should I be worried about this? You didn't want to get your fingerprints on it or something. All right, hopefully I'm not going to get sick. Adam White. All right, so let's see what Adam's working with here. He's got a traditional five-piece kit, 10, 12, 16, 22, and a and 14 inch snare. But he set it up in a very unique way. He's got a one up, two down. He's playing rack tom, 10 inch in the normal rack tom spot, 16 right, 12 mounted as a floor tom on the left hand side. He's got two crashes, a china, a ride, hi-hats, and then a crash, china, splash, stacker. Now on his right hand side, he's got his china mounted to his main crash stand on an accessory arm. His ride cymbal has its own stand, but he's mounting it upside down so that he can get it as low as possible, but he angles it forward so he can crash on it when he needs to. On his left side, he's got his left main crash and 10 inch rack tom mounted to the same stand. He's got his hi-hats, then he has a stand base that's holding up his 12 inch rack tom and his splash crash stacker. Now these are both mounted to a stand base. There's no cymbal stand on it. It's just a stand base when they use two multi-clamps to mount them. And then sometimes on his far left, he mounts a 13 inch snare. So what I really liked about this setup is that it's, it's, it's set up very differently than a traditional five piece kit. And I saw this as an opportunity to clean up the left side a little bit since he's using stands and also clean up the right side and remove some of the feet that are on the ground. For the left side, I created a low profile side rack. Now for the, for the vertical legs, I used the GSMP, which is a 14 inch tube that has an accessory adapter on the end, so it allows you to mount accessories inside the tube. Then for the crossbar, I used a 46 inch curve bar. For the snare, I mounted the snare basket directly to the crossbar. Now I've got my 12 inch tom mounted with a tom arm directly to the crossbar as well, and then the cymbal stacker splash was used, I just mounted a boom arm just a boom rod directly to the actual rack itself. Now moving over to the hi-hat stand, I removed the, the, the hi-hat stand with legs and I added a no-leg hi-hat stand and I connected it to the rack using the, the SCEA100. Now for the left main crash, I needed a little bit more height because I've got such a low profile side rack. So I used the 6709NL which is um, a legless cymbal stand. So you have all the benefits of a height of a cymbal stand, but you don't have the legs. So this really helps when you're trying to get a low profile look, but you still need your cymbals to go high. Now for my 10 inch rack tom, I just mounted the tom arm directly right out of the front leg of the rack. Now the snare, this was really cool. I didn't want any feet on the ground, so I used a legless snare stand, which is the 9706 NL, and I connected it to the front vertical leg of the rack but I had to get an angle to come off of that in order to, to get the snare positioned high enough for me. So I used the SCGC MAMC clamp, which is an adjustable angle multi-clamp, to get that angle and to get the snare in the placement that I needed. So on the right side, I created an all-in-one hybrid type setup. It allowed me to ditch the second cymbal stand over here, clearing up a lot more of the floor space. So my right main crash is mounted to the cymbal stand, which is serving as the anchor, the base for this whole setup. I used a 30 inch curve bar that I attached directly to the cymbal stand uh, with a super multi clamp. Now on each end of the curve bar I used an SC RMAA. This is one of those adapters that you see on the front and back legs on the side rack on the left hand side. This allowed me to mount my ride cymbal directly out of the front end of the rack bar and then my china out of the back end of the rack bar. So with my ride cymbal I can still position it upside down, hang it upside down and get it at the height that I need to, really low like he likes to play it, but it also allows me to position my china on the back side to where I can angle it high enough 
where, I, where he needs it. Well, that's it for this month's episode of Hardware Makeover. Adam, thank you for submitting your kit. I enjoyed getting to mess with it. Uh, for those of you that have already submitted, keep watching because you could be in episode 10. Who knows? For those of you that haven't submitted yet, please send all video and pictures to brentshang.gibraltar at gmail.com. And um, that's it for this month's episode. Hey, uh, do I have anything to worry about with that briefcase? I heard it, like, chirping, or some kind of squeaking sound coming out of it. Should I go wash my hands? I'm gonna go wash my hands.